no windows. Mm. If I wanted to keep a prisoner, this would be the place. Would you make it thunder when this goes off? Because you've got to make it work. This is, this is all up to you now. You. Where were you? I was at the condo. I just uh, needed to think a little while, that's all. I mean, do I have to tell you where I'm going to be every second? No, of course not. Maybe we did overreact. But you've been feeling so much better lately, it just didn't seem like you to suddenly take off like that. Well, if I want to spend a little time in our own condominium, I don't think we have to send out the National Guard. No, but you should have written a note. Well, I can certainly understand you're wanting to spend some time in your own home. Are you two thinking about moving back there? Yes, no. we are. I don't really think that um, I'm ready to move back there yet. Even Dr. Diedrichson said that. What I meant was that we discussed it, but decided against it for right now. Well, at least you're both in agreement. But um, I want to remind both of you that you're perfectly welcome to stay here as long as you want. If you don't mind, I think that um, I'm just going to go on upstairs. Terry, I don't know what to do anymore. And I have just about had it. I cannot get through to her at all. She is still convinced that she was raped. Here, look. I showed her this. It's the full medical report that Alex made the night it happened. It, it's all right there, and, and yet she still doesn't believe me. What else can I do? I can't understand why she refuses to accept the truth. Well, I think I'm beginning to understand. What do you mean? Well, you just heard what she said about moving back to the condo. See, I knew. I knew that's how she would react. I knew it. Of course she does not want to move back there because she doesn't want to accept any responsibilities. Not as my wife, and certainly not as a mother. Man, she's been so mixed up lately. You can't oh, expect is she? her to... is she? Terry, I think she knows exactly what she's doing. When we were at the condo, I told her... I told her again how much I love her and how much I want this baby. But she didn't listen again. She never listens anymore. And this time, well, this time she really threw me. She said maybe it'd be better if we weren't married. And no. I couldn't believe it either. No, surely she doesn't mean it. I mean, she's been under a lot of pressure lately. She hasn't been thinking straight about anything. Look, you know she loves you. Okay, maybe she hasn't shown it much lately. She hasn't been a wife to you, Ben, and it's bothering her a lot. Terry, I can accept that. After all she's been through, I can perfectly understand how she's feeling. I keep trying to tell her that. 
What I cannot understand is how come she will not accept the fact that she was not raped. We have all told her that over and over. Now what more can we do? Maybe there's nothing more we can do. Maybe we just have to sit back for a while. Let the Lord take care of it. He will. Probably gonna wonder what that explosion uh, uh, was all about. Lance, it's your We have to hurry. Oh, no, no, no. Your purse. Your purse. Where's your purse? Wait, wait, wait. I don't use my purse. I don't have anything in it. Why? There's supposed to be a riff in here. Oh, yeah. great. Yeah. That's exactly what I need, lady. Oh, let's get let's and he said it was thunder. Carry him. Come on, baby. Come on, honey. I know you're in here. Come on, baby. You're not going to get away from me this time. Come on, honey. Come on, baby. You're not getting out of here. It's just on the drive. Let's make a run. Come on. Come on. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> now let's move out. Ben, please. Don't give up on Lori now. You can't. Yeah, I know, I know, but it gets harder and harder all the time, Terry. Is your hand bothering you? <sighs> My own stupid fault. This temper of mine causes me more pain than just smashing it in frustration. Yeah, your frustration is very justified. But... Yeah, well, just tell me about it. Terry, this thing is tearing me apart inside. I don't think I can take it anymore. Now, I have tried and I have tried to be patient. I just simply don't know what else to do. Lori. Mom, can I talk to you for a minute? Well, sure, honey. Alone? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see about taking care of this hand. Well, maybe you should soak it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Mom, I, uh, I did a lot of thinking while I was at the condo. And I know what this baby means to you and Ben. But... For what? I don't want it. Lori, you can't be serious. I am. 
Uh, I know you don't really understand what I'm going through, but I had to tell someone what I'm feeling. Honey, you may feel that way right now, but once the baby's born, you're going to feel differently. I know Mom, you are. I've thought about this, and I've thought about it. I will never be able to accept this child. I will never look at that baby without thinking about... Lori, honey, I think you should go back and see Dr. Galvin. Maybe she can help you to understand. Understand? Understand what? She's got all of your medical records, including the report Alex Greeley made the night that you were attacked. Yes, Ben showed me that report. I know, but maybe she can explain it to you. I know what it says, and I don't care! Look. Alex Greeley was not in that empty classroom the night that that happened. I was. Lori, listen. No. You and Ben have gone to so much trouble to try to convince me that I wasn't raped that night. But I know. I still think you should see Dr. Galvin. Why? For the obvious reason that you're pregnant. Look. You need regular checkups for your health and for the babies. Lori, you are carrying a new life inside you. Mom, now. please don't do this. Yeah, I know. I heard what you said. You don't want the baby. But Lori, listen to me. Somebody someday is going to want that baby. And they're going to love that baby. Don't you see? That's why you've got to take good care of yourself now. I think Amber has very good taste. She's very taken with him. Really? Mm. Oh, I got the distinct impression that Amber knows exactly what she wants from Gil and she gets it. I mean, I didn't see any uh, sense of romance. I think it's true that uh, Amber is using Gil, but he's also using her. It's a very honest relationship. Do you think it's possible to have an honest relationship that's based on selfishness? You don't sound very sure. No, I'm not, because I had that type of relationship. And, and uh, believe me, it, uh, it sounds very good in theory, but in practice, leaves a lot to be desired. I know. Things aren't that simple. Between a man and a woman, they never have been, and they never will be. All I'm saying is that, for me personally, I've learned that I need more in a relationship. Oh, let's face it, Lee. You are just old-fashioned. We both are. Kate, I've missed you so much in these last few months. Well, I've thought a lot about you while I was away. Too much, sometimes. Too much, huh? Listen, do you know what we had last fall was really terrific? But I think we deserve more than that. I would like to give you more than that. Have you, uh, discussed this with Sebastian? Sebastian? Yes, as I recall, he, he was always out to get you married off. He seemed to think that you would have beaten Oliver last fall if you had been a family man. And I can't imagine that he's changed his mind. No, it's true. That's exactly what Sebastian thinks. He would give anything to see me walking down an aisle in June. Oh. But don't worry, I can handle him. I've, we go back a long ways. What do you mean? Well, he hasn't called you and proposed for me yet, has he? <laughs> no. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me, you know. There's not a lot Sebastian wouldn't do if he thought it might get me elected. But listen, seriously, I had a talk with Sebastian, and I told him where you're concerned, hands off. Because I have too much respect for you, I have too much respect for the both of us to use you as a ticket to get elected. Well, that's a relief. Besides, you mean a lot more to me than any election. Still the reluctant candidate. Sometimes it comes and goes, yeah. What about you, Kate? Haven't you ever... Have you ever considered remarrying? Well, I... Um, I must admit I haven't ruled it out, but... Uh, so far, there haven't really been any uh, serious candidates until I... Till what? Lee, I... You know... Uh, you know I care about you very much.
Now get in there. All right, okay. Hey, what you want? Shut up. <laughs> you can't shut treat up. Her I'll treat her any way I want to, pal. And if you smart off one more time, I'll put this bullet right between your eyes. You got that? He would. He really would. Now I want to know where you got those explosives. <laughs> Man, just leave her alone. Shut up. <laughs> What's a big idea, honey? Are you gonna blow the door up, huh? Is that what you're gonna do? Don't you know that's dangerous? Don't you know that you can kill ah! somebody? Ah! Ah! Gene! Gene! Oh my gosh! Gene! Oh, Gene! Are you all right? Gene! Are you all right? Now, I asked you a question. I want to know where they are. Yeah, yeah, over there. I don't even care. Get up! Gene! 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 This is why you wanted the candles, huh, honey? Come on. Okay, huh? Oh, poor baby. Scared of the dark, aren't you? Huh? Well, let me tell you something. You and your little friend here ain't ever gonna see light. Don't, no, hey, more. hey, hey, don't do this. He's gotta have a doctor. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. You don't need nothing, honey. Neither do you, not where you're going. Oh, Gene, come on. Come on. Gene, talk to me. Gene, talk. Oh, God, please, Jesus, would you please just let him be okay? Just help us. Jesus, help us. Gene. Okay. I missed you so much. Don't ever leave me like that again. Mm -hmm. You know, I. Since I've. I see you now, and I just want you to be with me all the time. Yes, I know, Lee. I want that too, but. But things are. Uh, not like they were last fall. Because of Amber, you mean? Well, partly. For all, this is her apartment, and I, I assume she will be coming back here this evening. Would that cause a problem? Not for Amber. <laughs> I can think of nothing that would make her happier than to come in that door and find us making love together. So? So, discretion is the better part of valor. Now, when I get my own apartment... Listen, I'd be very happy to help you look for your own place. In fact, wait a minute. There are a couple of apartments available in my building right now. I know I may be a little prejudiced in this situation, but I think you'd be very comfortable there, Kate. At least I'd know where to go for a cup of sugar. Or anything else you might think of. <laughs> now, I came out here to talk about something important with you, Washington, but that can wait. I mean, who are those people? What do they want here? All right, Vince. All right, I'll, I'll tell you everything. A while back, we had some trouble with one of the girls. She, uh, she wanted to get off the streets. She wanted to leave the organization, Vince, and that's bad for business. You know that. Gives the other girls bad ideas. So you brought her out here to straighten her out, huh? Yeah. Sort of. I mean, that was the idea. Was? But Lance and Blue were supposed to kidnap the girl that ran away. Only they put the snatch on Miriam Mason instead, huh? Yeah, how'd you know that? Oh, I just guessed. I read the papers. Come on, I saw that blonde running away from here. Hey, you know, I used to be a business associate of Charles Carpenter. Well, I didn't know that, Vince. I swear to you, I didn't realize that until, until after we grabbed her. Now, look, Vince. All of this can work out really great if... Well, if we, uh... If, uh, Carpenter comes through with the money you're gonna stick him for, right? Charles Carpenter's a very wealthy man. Vince. So how much did you stick him for, for the girl? Come on, how much, how much? 400 grand. And I was gonna tell you about it too, Vince. Sure you were, on a postcard from Veracruz. No! No, that's not true. Look, it was because of your involvement with Carpenter I thought that I'd spare you the details until after the whole thing was completed. Everything you do, I'm supposed to know about. I own you, Washington. You remember that. Okay, don't worry, man. Everything's taken care of. Hey, the uh, door in the blockhouse is all sealed up. And Blondie's a little uh, scattered, but I think she's gonna be all right. And the, uh, the black dude, he's out cold. He got a little Who smart. was that guy? I don't know. I don't know. What was that explosion? That was dynamite. Dynamite? Yeah, it was in that old trunk in the blockhouse. You know, that old crate in there? But don't worry about nothing, because I got rid of everything. Yeah, well, this is it, Lance. I've had it with you. How could you be so stupid? What are you talking about, man? You're the one that told oh, me to shut up. Shut up! Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Like a couple of schoolboys. 
Looks at this situation, you got about as much sense as a couple of schoolboys. Now, you're both in trouble with me, big trouble. Greed, I can understand. Greed, I could put up with. Greed, I can deal with. But insubordination is intolerable. From now on, as long as you are members of this organization, you take orders for me. Is that clearly understood? Is it? <laughs> Now, I want to know what all of the arrangements are that you've made to pick up the ransom and the truth this time. All right, Vince. All right. Everything's all set. The, uh, the drop, it, it's tonight, and Lance is supposed to go to Leon's diner. Carpenter's supposed to meet him there with the money. $400,000 in unmarked bills. He's to leave it in a briefcase at 8 p.m. in a in the first booth. Vance, you better be on your way. Yeah, all right. Wait a minute. You mean you're going to go through with this? I thought that you'd want to call $400,000 may seem like a lot of money to you. But to Charles Carpenter, he could lose that much money in the market in a week. You'll get over it. You stupid idiot. I told you he'd get a lot more money than that, Ronnie, than from Carpenter. Why don't Carpenter you shut up, Lance? Uh, besides, Lance, you got work to do. On with it. Right. And Lance, I want you back here with every penny of that 400000 Look, don't worry, Miss. I'll tell you what, I'll come right back as soon as I make the pickup. Don't try anything, Lance. I find out everything, like tonight. Oh, I know that, Mr. Cardello. Ron's told me about that. You don't have to worry about me. I ain't gonna try nothing. 